So you're not struggling with the kids at home for homeschool? I mean, not really. There's a couple things, though. I mean, you know, there, there's... There's a few things that I'm that I'm struggling a little bit with. What and, you got? Well, can I help? Matt, normally in these situations, what I like to do because I have problems expressing my feelings sometimes, I put it down on paper, or in this case, my notes of my phone. Got it. Same scenario. Do people really write on paper anymore? Do you write on paper, Musso? Do you write uh, on paper anymore? Occasionally, yes. Yeah, Paul, do you write on paper? Every now and then. Yeah. My wife, uh, Erica. You know Erica. I did. Uh, post-it notes everywhere. Post-it note queen. Just post-it notes every, all over our house. Notes. Just notes. Like, you know, you could text or tell Siri to remind you or Alexa or... There's many digital ways that you could do without actually having to write on a, on a post-it note and then and stick it all over the place. Mm. Post-it note. Post-it. She's like, I left you a note. Like, I didn't see that. Yeah, who does that? I don't know. See that. Just, just background. Tony LaRusso does that. Post-it notes. Post-it notes. Lots of them. Everywhere. Whole office. Everywhere. Everywhere. Do you think he's got any like genius ideas written on post-it notes? Lineups. It works. You can fit the entire lineup on a post-it note? A lot of them. Or like one player per post-it note. It's just everywhere. Very confusing. One player per post-it note so that way he can change the lineup. Just move it stick. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So what I like to do when... Um, necessarily feeling down because I'm not feeling down in this okay. case but but there's a lot of emotion but I put it down on my phone and my notes I'd like to share it please I'd love to okay hear it with you I, guys. I wrote a letter to uh, <laughs> it's the thank you note music from Jimmy Fallon <laughs> uh, I wrote a letter to Corona okay <laughs> to Corona to the virus mm -hmm. okay dear Corona the past month or so has been filled with so many emotions because of you. Fear, mm. panic, mm. and uncertainty, to name a few. Mm. You've also brought families together, forced humanity to be creative, and shown us that we cannot control everything. True. That's good. Wow, you wrote that? Corona, I choose to be the glass half full guy. I choose to be the guy that believes that we will come out better as a whole once this is under control. I choose to not read every headline and follow the many tracking maps that you've helped create. Mm, a lot of them. Instead, Corona, I'll wash my hands frequently. Yep, same, same. I'll stay away from people as much as possible. Same -sies. I won't have conversations with close talkers. <laughs> you know who you What's are. What's wrong with what, what, do, do, do close talkers not? Do close talkers not understand that they're close talkers? They don't. Is that is that how is that how that works? They don't. You know what else is is annoying? Like, what about the people that when you're talking to them, and then they turn like come to the side of you? What you never you had doing? that happen. I have. What are it's we like, doing? It's like, and then you kind of turn. It's like, can I not face you and have a conversation? And they keep turning to the side, and I'm like. This is really awkward. I don't want to talk to the, yeah. like, am I supposed? Am I supposed to just look at you out of my peripheral vision? Just hit him with the fish eye. What's the fish eye? I don't know. Oh, it just like sounded, the stink eye. It sounded good. The fish eye. The side eye. What if? What if you had? What if you had a lazy eye, and so you could look straight, but one eye went to the side. If you had a lazy eye, that guy wouldn't bother you. That's a good point. Anyway, close talkers. Back. Back to you. I won't have conversations with close talkers. I'll use a foot tap to greet people rather than a dap or a fist bump. Hmm. That being said, Corona, if you were a person, I'd opened hand slap the hell out of you. I would not ball up my fist or hit you with the people's elbow. I would open hand slap you because that's disrespectful. It's more insulting that way for sure. Very insulting. Sure it is. You ever open hand slapped anybody? When was the last time you did it? It's been a while. Yeah. I definitely did that to my school. brother. Definitely my brother. Like, I've opened and slapped him in the face. Mm -hmm. We spit on each other, too. You ever do that with your brothers? Like, no. chase each other around and just spitting on each other. 
Yeah, my brother Wetz once held me down, and he had a loogie coming out of his mouth, and he'd suck it back in, and then he'd, <laughs> and he'd suck it back in. It's disgusting. It's so good. Not good. It's horrible. Oh, it's so good. Anyway. Back to Corona, yeah. I'd be sure to wash my hands immediately after. <laughs> I open hand slapped you. I'd then, Corona, post untrue things about you on tiger droppings <laughs> and let people go nuts. Once that ran its course, I'd go in the huddle under an anonymous user's name and spread untrue rumors. <laughs> and last, and lastly, Corona, <laughs> I'd force you to be the person who does sign language at a Coach O presser. <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you say that to me? On this show. And then I'd make you admit to picking out DD Bro's outfits. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Too much sequin? The end. The end. <laughs> S- sincerely yours, Ryan. All right. That was beautiful. I, was like how, I like how you like to emote like that. That's why I didn't know you were such a uh, wow. writer. I know you're so talented. Yeah, that's what I did. Like that. Yeah. I didn't know you were such a talented writer. That's so good. Like John Grisham. Good. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, God.